you're gonna be king. And you're gonna be king. And you're gonna be king in the Paraguayan American Union state, led by our great, glorious leader, Huey Longdong. To get this fatty boy in power, it took me on an adventure filled with misery and pain. So you really, really want to know what actually happened. And you may be wondering, how did we bring Huey Longdong? Well, we went into the country selection screen and we didn't click on the United States of America. We clicked on Paraguay. Because we all know that playing in South America is the funnest thing you can do in Hearts of Iron 4. Alongside clicking on 20 infrastructure state to build factories in it. Ooh, history! You gotta be joking me. So, because some guys in Berlin fucked up the stock exchange market, me, a goddamn Paraguay, have to suffer from it. Think about this, it's just capitalism in a nutshell. A new challenge. Well, considering from what I read about the Paraguayan history, we're literally going from bad to worse right now. <laughs> or from worse to awful, depending on how you wanna phrase it. Come on, man, this is just not fine. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> pain. Yeah, man, let's go help Huey Wong Dong with the war with our 100 weapons. This is totally gonna make a difference. This seems to be an Argentinian-Chilean war, or the Argentinian Civil War, as you might call it. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna attack Argentina while that's happening. This move to avenge Argentina wasn't the most calculated, considering that Bolivia joined in too. Well, it's that time of the year again. RIP BOZO, REST IN PEACE, YOU WON'T BE MISSED. Today's episode of the Ranger Show, we're gonna be liberal and actually release Bolivia. Because if we don't release Bolivia, my manpower is gonna go bye-bye. Two encirclements, not one. Two divisions here, one here, because I'm just built different. See, I would annex all of Argentina, but if I annex all of Argentina, all of my vampire is gonna go to occupying. And people who occupy don't kill other people. Usually. Bro, why is there a picture of Hitler with an anti syndicalist pact with Uruguay? Like, is Hitler somewhere hiding in Argentina again? <laughs> oh, the American Union stage just capitulated. I really wonder where Huey Wong Dong will escape to. Yeah, bro, we should probably make Huey Wong Dong a president immediately after he comes to the country. Nothing could go wrong. Huey Wong Dong, second chance. <laughs> hey, kid. Wanna join the Paraguayan military and fight for liberty and the liberation of America? No? Well, that's pretty bad because every man is gonna be a soldier in here. Huey Long could go in exile in every other country and he decided to go to Paraguay. Yes, we definitely need to evade Peru to get back to America. Don't even question this. Hey kids, wanna see a true Peruvian gangbang? NSFW. Got caught. At 3am. I could have became a doctor, an engineer or anything useful for society, but no. I decided that playing Hearts of Fire and to entertain some 14 year old Nazis was a thing to do with my life. Nah, just kidding, it's all worth it, I managed to capitulate Peru, I'm the greatest Hearts of Iron player. As I said, a liberal tornado here, because we're liberating Peru. <laughs> ah, get it? It's wordplay, and it isn't actually that funny, I'm sorry. Don't worry Ecuador, we liberated you from the evil Peruvians just so we can invade you. We really just replace Romania with France, we're just going from thieves to, to, to French people. Hey, I just noticed something. What is this war in America? Can we even call it a civil war? All of North America is just fighting each other. All right, man, this is just straight up depressing. I, I kind of feel bad for, for invading them. But then again, imperialism. An army with a state. I wonder which other country got called exactly the same. It's time for the first stage of the final boss, Colombia. Don't worry, Colombians, you may die today, but your kids will be enslaved and your wives will be... Let's say they will be thrown. First stage cleared. To North, I say. Wait, that wasn't my justification, so on Central America, that was Argentina invading me. Not cool. Hey, yo, Argentina, you having fun there? Getting invaded by half of the South American population? Maybe I went a little bit too hard on the Argentinians, considering that there are literally no guns left to be taken. But then again, I think the Paraguayan generals are pretty cool, but then notice that I have American exile generals, and those guys are actually goddamn cracked. Or on crack. I don't know, actually. It's time for my favorite American pastime, invading Mexico. Hey, this Colombia is a different color, isn't it, man? Yeah, because it's not Colombia, it's Belgium. But I wasn't paying attention for like one second in this game. Alright man, this, these rice pack members are actually fun behaving me, literally evading only me in the world, they have no other job, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Ma, fuck, you guys just made a third veil creek. But I, I just kinda can't believe this, we're playing as Paraguay and an army with no equal. I mean, really? 
Most of my army is just Colombian recruits, not gonna lie to you. Underfed Colombian recruits. I bet this village is a nice place to die in any circumstance. Basically, it's actually so hard to defeat. And this is not even the final boss. Look who came to ruin the goddamn party. I was having fun invading Mexico, but then Canada had to intervene. So I was about to say, yeah, I capitulated Mexico, but the Canada of Bulgaria declared war on Kamiatka. I, I, I'm getting my show stolen from me. Bro, the Bulgarians restored the Canet. What the fuck? So goddamn close to it. The final goal. Guess who's back? Back to invade America. What are the textures, boys? Where the Paraguayan invaders have encircled, like, someone. Okay, th this is just not a good joke. Cut it. Cut. The situation has developed not necessarily to Paraguay's uh, favor, so we're gonna be retreating to Mexico. Hmm, this Reichspack thing is looking a little bit blue. After further observation and seeing that the Pacific states of America are getting bugged fucked, I can decide that we need to launch another offensive against the Custodius American Republic, which will totally not fail like the last three. Two thousand years later. The year is 1945. I am grinding my front lines against the Americans, literally having zero progress, while they're in a civil fucking war, and the Russians are still stopping Europe. But anyway, back to America. By the way, I choose my own challenges to do. I don't make anybody force me to do these challenges. But no, I decided that playing Huey Long Donk from Paraguay was a fun thing to do in my weekend. In my three weekends, actually. We did it, boys. After like three years, we have taken Houston. Taken Houston back, actually. You know what? This campaign may be an absolute pain for me. But at least Bulgaria owns Britain. Now we can finally get all the immigrants back. Wow, guys, I very unexpectedly managed to capitulate. Oh, oh what's this here? I mean, yeah, I very unexpectedly managed to capitulate both the Constitutionalist American Republic and the Californian guys. Wow. And also, I traded New York for, I don't know, a, a bag of. What's, what's Paraguayan food? I don't know any Paraguayan food. No. Yeah, we traded New York for some. Uh, but what's Paraguay? Uh, 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 for some of these uh, 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 bread things. Yeah, yeah, we traded them for this. We, we have done it. Yeah, to the Konzuk one. Somehow the brave citizens of Paraguay have managed to pull off a mountainous task of liberating America and we're forever grateful. <laughs> no, you guys are not grateful, Lemao. The real question how should we restore the American government? while having the Paraguayan government exist. And in my opinion, we should just create a united Paraguayan American Republic. Because Paraguay isn't in America, because anything that's not, not in North America isn't America. And wow, we have another picture of Huey Wong Dong. Yep, I think that's enough. I have managed to do enough trolling with this world. The world has trolled itself, I really have to be honest. I don't want to be doing this anymore. It's way too goddamn late already. Bye.